Welcome to the last part of my afflictions guide for the long dark. Check out the card in the top right to see the last part where I covered the injuries in the game. Also, be sure to check the comments for corrections and additional information. Today, I will be covering the disease afflictions. Note that when it comes to treating diseases, one Reishi tea is equivalent to two antibiotics. So let's get into it. Cabin Fever. If the player spends, on average, approximately three quarters of every day indoors for six days, then they will gain a cabin fever risk. The longer they spend indoors, the higher this risk will go until at 100%, the player will gain cabin fever. You can decrease your risk before gaining the affliction by spending time outside, which will decrease the average. Upon receiving the full affliction, the player will no longer be able to sleep indoors. The only treatment is spending time outside until your average time indoors decreases below the aforementioned threshold. In Pilgrim mode, there is no risk of cabin fever. Voyager has a 50 day grace period and Stalker has a 25 day grace period. On Interloper, of course, there is no grace period, meaning that if you spend the first six days entirely inside an Interloper, you can immediately gain cabin fever risk. Note that it is sometimes challenging to determine if the player is indoors or not. Not all exterior locations are considered outside, such as the Mountaineer's Hut. You may then think guts will only cure indoors, but actually some outdoor locations allow guts to cure. The best way to determine if you are indoors is by attempting to start a campfire. If you are able to start one, then the game considers you to be outside and you will not gain cabin fever risk. This affliction is not a very big deal, but care should be taken to avoid it. Dysentery. Dysentery is an affliction that is extremely easy to avoid in almost all scenarios. Dysentery risk is gained by drinking unsafe water. The more you drink, the higher the risk. You do not need to gain 100% risk to gain the affliction, but rather the chance of gaining the affliction increases with the risk. Gaining dysentery will prevent sleep from restoring condition, decrease your condition by 4% per hour, and increase your thirst needs. It lasts until treated and requires two antibiotics, two liters of purified water, and 10 hours of sleep. This affliction is very dangerous to gain, but is luckily extremely easy to avoid. Simply never drink unsafe water. If the player is dehydrated and you don't have time to boil a full can of water, you can boil the water for a few seconds and then collect it. This will give you a small amount of potable water, which will give you more time to boil even more water. Alternatively, plan ahead and boil extra water just in case. Food Poisoning When the player eats raw meat or low-conditioned food, there is a risk of food poisoning. Different foods have different risks, but for all foods besides raw meat, if their condition is above 75%, they will never grant food poisoning. Packaged food above 20% is also completely safe, except for the chocolate bar, granola bar, peanut butter, and tin of sardines, which pose a very small risk above 20%. At cooking level 5, only raw meat and fish will pose any food poisoning risk. Also note that cooking raw meat will increase its condition by 50%, maximum to 100% of course. Gaining the food poisoning affliction will make the player lose 10% condition per hour of wakefulness, down to a minimum of 15%. The player's fatigue will also decrease by 30% per hour. You cannot gain multiple instances of food poisoning, but rather, a second one will simply reset the duration. Food poisoning lasts 12 to 24 hours, or can be treated with two antibiotics and 10 hours of sleep. If you avoid raw meat and low condition food, this affliction will be very rare and easy to avoid. Always be aware that you might have a small risk, so be prepared for that outcome. Headaches. Headaches are caused as an after effect of drinking an energy drink. Once the benefit wears off, the player will gain headaches that blur the player's vision. They will last for 20 minutes and then go away. The only treatment is to wait. Overall, headaches are a very minor affliction that are mostly harmless. Use care when drinking energy drinks to avoid gaining headaches in a dangerous situation such as fleeing from predators. Hypothermia 
Hypothermia must be one of the most core afflictions in the long dark. If the player spends two hours freezing or falls through thin ice, they will gain the hypothermia affliction. When you start freezing, you will gain a hypothermia risk that will slowly increase the longer you are freezing. When it hits 100%, you will gain the affliction. When the player is freezing, they ordinarily decrease their condition by 20% per hour. Keep in mind then, that the following results of hypothermia are even more dangerous as the player will have likely lost 40% condition in order to gain hypothermia in the first place. With the affliction, freezing condition loss is now 40% per hour and fatigue is lost twice as quickly. In order to treat hypothermia, the player must stay warmer than freezing for a set amount of time. 6 hours for Pilgrim, 12 hours for Voyager, 18 hours for Stalker, and a full 24 hours for Interloper. Freezing again for even a moment will fully reset the timer. Hypothermia is then one of the most dangerous afflictions in the entire game and one of the most commonly gained risks. Always carry fire supplies and scout out small corners that are windproof in case of a blizzard. Map knowledge will also be extremely useful as caves and interiors are the best way to avoid hypothermia. You can also utilize the warming up benefit as we discussed in part one as a powerful tool to combat hypothermia risk. Infection. Upon receiving the blood loss affliction discussed in part two, there is a chance to gain an infection risk. The risk starts at 50% and increases by 5% per hour up to 90%. You can treat an infection risk using antiseptic or old man's beard wound dressings. After a certain amount of time, the game will randomly decide whether or not to grant you an infection. The higher your risk, the more chance of gaining an infection. The affliction will decrease your condition by 5% per hour until you treat it or die. It also increases the drain on your fatigue meter. It can be treated with two antibiotics and eight hours of sleep. You can gain multiple infections at the same time, so always be prepared to treat multiple infection risks. Insomnia. Insomnia is a new affliction that currently only occurs in the far territory. Occasionally, glimmer fog will occur in these regions, which can bring electronics to life similar to the aurora. When the player spends time outside in glimmer fog, they will gain an insomnia risk. The longer they spend outside, the higher the risk until they gain the affliction. The affliction will frequently interrupt the player's sleep and can only be treated by spending time outside of glimmer fog. This affliction is primarily annoying rather than dangerous. Just keep in mind that the longer the player sleeps for in one continuous chunk, the more condition they will gain. Thus, insomnia may pose a risk if the player has low condition or other afflictions and is relying on sleep to gain back condition. Intestinal Parasites when the player consumes meat from a predator, currently wolves, timber wolves, and bears, but we may presume cougars as well in the future, they will receive a risk of intestinal parasites. The affliction can be gained only on stalker and interloper difficulty in survival mode or on the hardened survivor difficulty in story mode. Cooked meat has much less of a parasite risk than raw meat, but it is never fully safe until the player gains cooking level 5. The more pieces of predator meat the player eats, the higher their risk goes. If your risk is X percent, then 24 hours after eating the first piece of meat, you will have an X percent chance of contracting the affliction. Every day, the affliction will decrease your maximum condition by 2% and your maximum fatigue by 4% until you die or treat it. Each day, the player must take two antibiotics to treat the affliction. This must happen for 10 days on Stalker or 20 days on Interloper. If you miss a single treatment, the timer will reset. This affliction can be extremely expensive in terms of antibiotics or teas. Also, notice that the small decrease in condition will become a large decrease before a treatment concludes. The player can eat as much predator meat as they want while they have the affliction without fear of increasing the timer or gaining another intestinal parasite risk. Be careful when consuming meat from predators before you are cooking level 5. And with that, we've reached the end of the current afflictions in the game. 
I hope you guys have enjoyed this series and learned something from it. It's been an interesting process for me researching the wiki, and I've certainly learned things from this as well. If you'd like new guides for the long dark, let me know what kind you'd be interested in, and maybe I'll make it for you. Until then, have fun playing.